Cricket in the guts, Barry. <laughs> The on this one, okay guys, so um, as I said in an earlier video, I'm going to piggyback off of uh, Chris Cortell's idea here and uh, just keep some com content going on my channel. Uh, I'm probably going to start showing every now and again some, uh, some of my old builds. So I'll start off with this one. Um, Oh, the only complaint I have about this build is I should have done a much much better job on the gloss black paint. Uh, it's pretty orange peeled. I should have I should have polished it a bit more. But um, other than that, very very happy with this build. Uh, this is the Aoshima uh, Road Warrior. Um, but. As you, as you can see, it's not the Road Warrior version, it's actually the Mad Max version. So you can get a conversion kit that will convert the Road Warrior, uh, excuse me, can't speak, that will convert the Road Warrior version to the Mad Max version. Uh, so you get this uh, front spoiler here, uh, you get an extra passenger seat, uh, you also get the trunk lid and a full spoiler. Uh, I think that might be it. So there's a guy on um, eBay who has them up every now and again. They're, they can be hard to find, the conversion kit. The Aosham kit itself is, is a bit hard to find and even when you do find it's super, super expensive. And then the conversion kit itself is not overly cheap. It's probably 30, 40 bucks just for those resin parts. Again, if you can find them. But, um, so like the Oshima stuff, it goes together really well. Um, I added the white lettering for the tires myself. Those are decals that I got from Fireball Designs, I think it was. Um, maybe hard to tell in the camera, but the car is a two-tone, gloss and flat black. Uh, the base is scratch built. So basically, what I was going, what I wanted to do here was, um, I wanted to have the base look like it was essentially ripped out of the ground. Um, so that's why it has all these rough edges around. Basically, all it is is a ceiling tile, and I made the uh, road using cork. Uh, I have a video up on YouTube showing how to do that. Um, the groundwork and the signs are all um, I just printed out the signs, tacked them onto some uh, wood and made the signs. Anarchy Road of course if you're familiar with the movie and the High Fatality Road sign in the background. Um, the nice thing about using cork, uh, you can see here, it actually looks like cracked asphalt. So it's, um, in, my, in my opinion, it's a really simple, easy, cheap, convincing way to make asphalt. For works for 125th, 124th, and 112th. I use it on bike kits as well. Um, so yeah, other than that, uh, that's about that's about it for that model. This model, I'll just give it a spin here. Of course, being a a ocean kit, it goes together really, really well. It's a little bit dusty here now. Um, but yeah, if you can find one of those kits and you're a, a fan of the Mad Max movies. I'd uh, recommend picking it up. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's a uh, curbside kit, of course, but uh, I wouldn't be showing the engine anyways. I didn't really do it too much scratch building. I just added some tubing on the blower and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's about it for that build. Um, so I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed that 
blast from the past there. And uh, like I said, I'm planning to put up a few more videos like this. So um, thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, hope you stay tuned.